Welcome to this week's episode of Hump Day Romance. I'm your host, Zeus. Co-parenting. Co-parenting is one of the hardest things to do today. Think about it. We all know someone who has a co-parenting situation. Some of them are good, but we actually hear more of them that actually are not good. Do y'all ever ask yourself like, man, why is it that two people can't co-parent together like adults, right? Now, I know it's easy to just blame the guy. I know that's what we live in. We live in a world where if something doesn't make sense, we just blame the man and we just kind of keep on pushing. But we know better than that, right? I hope we know better than that. I just got off the phone with one of my friends, right? And his story damn near broke my heart. Now, let me give you context, right? This is a guy who met a girl, right? They were hanging out and she got pregnant. They were never in a relationship, never anything like that. And she decided that they were going to decide, hey, whether we were gonna have the baby or not. They decided, and when I say they decided, I mean she decided that she was gonna have the baby for him and there was nothing he can do about it. The guy never wanted to have the baby with her. As a matter of fact, he gave her a great reason why. He told her, don't wanna have a baby because I'm not financially stable. This wasn't something that we planned and also this would be his first child, right? So he said, the first time I have a child, well, I want to be with the person that I'm having a child with. And you and I, we're not there yet. And if we were to get there, we would need to do that without having the pressures of having a child. Now, I thought that was one of the most mature things that a man could say to a woman, right? He was very honest. He was very responsible up forth. And he also told her, he said, listen, you know, I'm also about to be leaving the area because he was on assignment. So he had to leave and go for work. The woman still decided to have the baby. She said, whatever's going on, I'll deal with it. It's fine. It's okay. I'll, I'll raise the baby by myself. It's fine. She was damn near pleading him. Fast forward. They have the baby. The guy is there. He still travels and does everything he told her that he was going to do, but he sends money. He comes home. He, uh, he you know visits with the baby. He does all those things, right? He never went ghost on her. Fast forward to today. My homie calls me and says, man, What's the point of even being a father? I was like, what? He said, man, what is the point of even being a father these days? He was like, I think we should all just quit. And I'm like, hold up, hold up, calm down. Like, what happened? He goes on to explain that for years now, he has been sending money. He has been coming to see his child, right? But his child's mother just completely just refuses to give him any type of respect. When I say any type of respect, I mean any type of respect. Like, I remember one time he told me that he drives eight hours every two weeks just to see his child, right? Eight hours just to see his child for a day and a half, sometimes two days. I know guys who their kid lives five minutes away and they still won't see their kid because they just made them type of dudes. They really ain't about nothing. You know what I'm saying? So that's why I know that it's special when you see a father or a mother, somebody who's really there for the kid, right? A lot of situations, women want their child's father to be in the picture. Because if both of you are raising this child, well then listen, everybody's happy, it's a good environment. But my homie was talking to me and he was just kind of like, bro, I don't understand why she just wants to make my life a living hell. And I was like, well, what do you mean? He said, well, she took me to court, right? He was already giving her money. She took him to court, and now the, the judge decided a situation that she wasn't happy with. So now that the judge decided an amount that she wasn't happy with, now she is making my friend his life a living hell because she says, well, that's your fault. You need to give me more. You need to do this. His explanation was, you just took me to court because you're mad we did not end up together. Mind you, the woman has already gone on and, and continued her life married she has other children she's doing great things right so i'm like well if she's doing great things bro and you're in your child's life you're sending money what's the problem he said man sometimes women are so angry from the past and when i say the past sometimes it has nothing to even do with you her father wasn't there for her in the way that i'm there for my child and she's jealous i said word i never knew that was like a real thing i was like can mothers be jealous of their child's relationship with their father? Yeah, but nobody really talks about that. She also verbally puts this man down all the time. He showed me text messages on a Thursday, he sent her money. 
on that Friday, she's like, yeah, you ain't nothing. Me and my husband, we're taking care of your child. You ain't this, you ain't that. And he's thinking to himself, well, then why am I giving you money? Why am I coming to see my child? Why am I taking my child to do these wonderful things if I can't even get the acknowledgement or the appreciation? Now, mind you, I don't think we need a parade as parents to do what we're supposed to do, but I do think when you're in a co-parenting situation, how you treat one another matters. And if you see a man or a woman being there for their child, loving their child, then you need to put your personal stuff aside and stop putting that man or that woman down because you're not with them or they didn't want you. Because contrary to popular belief, and I had to remind my friend about this, I said, well, she might be upset that she chose you, but you didn't choose her. Think about it. If I was a woman, how what would I look like having a baby, a man's baby that does not want me? That doesn't make any sense to me. I'd rather just be with someone who wants to have a, a child with me. But we live in a world where now women are more selfish and narcissistic then we actually give them credit for. Not all women, but there are certain type of women, right? Certain type of women who they want a baby because they want attention like they used to get when they were a kid, right? If you have a baby, you're gonna have a baby shower, you're gonna have a shoot, you're gonna have people sending you gifts. It's a form of attention. Attention is like a drug to a lot of women. Men too, but a lot of women. Like ain't no man getting pregnant so we can be like, hey bro, I got a baby on the way, baby showers. We don't do that kind of stuff, but women do. Why do a lot of women want to get married? Not for the marriage, but for the wedding. They get to make everything about them. You get cake, you get ice cream. People come, you get a dress. People tell you how beautiful you are. A lot of times it's for the attention. I had to really say, man, dang, I feel bad for my homie because I know how much he loves his child. And I said, you know what, bro? I understand how you feel. And you know what? Understand this. The only thing that matters is that child. Person you're dealing with, they can be as mean and spiteful as they want to be. A lot of times they're just saying discouraging things for no reason. He even told me that she's trying to guilt him into giving her more money for the child. But he's like, hey, listen, whatever my daughter or my son needs, let me know. I got that, right? I remember yesterday he told me that he asked his child mom to send his child, you know, when it's his time to have them, can you put sneakers on them instead of Crocs? That caused a whole catastrophic thing well you should have shoes over there for blah 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 he's like i just bought my child's shoes can you just put them on their feet well stuff never comes back who wants to be dealing with this petty type of human beings in order to raise a child you know what i'm saying like come on y'all it's already hard today y'all see we all got to have four or five jobs just to be okay right so when you have somebody two people who want to be in a child's life the problem is the parents are being more children than the children we got to grow up. We got to stop making this co-parent thing about us. Put your differences aside. Get off your high horse. Because a lot of women feel like they're the number one parent. A lot of women feel like, oh, the guy, the dad is just a sidekick. Yeah, you got to get that narrative out your brain. Because real men know that not to be true. It's funny. When a man is there and he's trying to bring order, man, he's the worst man in the world. He's the worst man in the world when he says, hey, don't talk in front of our child like that. Hey, how about... I don't put you down as a mother, so don't tell me about being a father. A lot of women feel like their job is to tell their child's father how they're doing being a father. You're not the child. The only person that can say what type of father or mother they have is the child, right? I think a lot of women want to critique men about being fathers because they didn't have a father. So this is their way of getting in on it. But how do you know about a father when you didn't have one? And if you did have one, did he talk to you? Did he raise you? Or was he just furniture? Was he just there? You see what I'm saying? See, a lot of men, we're raised by women. So we're taught to know about you. We're taught to listen to you from day one. But how many women was taught to listen to a man? Not many. And a lot of us can be raising healthier babies and healthier children if we decide to have a conversation. Now, unfortunately for my friend, he's tried to have conversations. He even said, let's go to counseling. She said, I ain't going to counseling. I ain't doing none of that. The only thing that's going to fix this is money. Money, money, money. Kids are worth more than money. And when your kid becomes grown, 18, 20, kids don't remember how much money you spent on them. They just remember that their parent was there for them. More of this story, I know it's hard to be a father out here. I know it's hard when you're trying your best to be in your child's life. You give your all and then you get spit in your face. But guess what? Don't worry about it because it's not about her or him. It's about the child. 
It's about that kid. You got to remember, kids live more than just their adolescent lives, right? They're going to have more life than just being kids. They're also going to need parents when they're adults, when they can make their own decisions. And a lot of times, those are where the real relationships are going to get made, right? So for all those fathers out there who are going through it, I mean, man, you giving your all. Ask yourself, does your child appreciate it? Does your child appreciate it? Because that sweet voice that comes and give you a hug and say, Daddy, I love you. Thank you. Or Mommy, I love you. Thank you. That means something. Always remember that. And for my co-parents out there, I hope we get to a space where we can just grow the hell up, y'all. You know what I'm saying? Life is too short. Now, we can co-parent without bringing any problems to one another that we already have on our plate. But that takes a level of maturity. So ask yourself, how many mature people there are in the world? And can we get over ourselves so we can raise these babies into being healthier human beings than what we are? If you've enjoyed this episode of Hump Day Romance and you feel like you got something out of it, feel free to cash up $1 to the show. If you want to do more, we appreciate it, but we just ask $1 for the show so that we can keep these productions going and I can keep getting this information out into the world. Make sure you tell me what you think about this episode and your comments down below. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Were there some points that I missed out on? Put them down there and we're going to have a real grown folks discussion. I'm Top Rope Zeus. Live your dreams, not your reality.